Hi, Marco here. How do you configure your Team City project to build pull requests like on GitHub, for example? Let's find out how. First of all, don't edit your project, but edit your build configuration. Then go to the build feature section here on the left. Add a new build feature. Scroll down long enough until you find the pull requests feature. And then you have two options. VCS root, you can go with the first attached git VCS root because you only have one git repository associated with your project. Otherwise, you could choose the appropriate one. And you also have to make sure to select the VCS hosting type, GitHub in this example, supply an access token, right? And then there's a couple of things you can do. You can filter the pull request you want to build essentially by author, so by the GitHub username, for example, by the source branch, so only build pull requests from specific source branches with wildcards, for example. Also by target branch, if you want to merge the pull request into a specific target branch, you could make a target branch filter here. Right, we don't want to do any of that. We are just gonna test the connection. The connection to GitHub was successful, right? We're gonna hit save and you have the pull request feature set up. Now, what you also want to make sure, just quickly double check your version control settings, edit your VCS route and go to your branch specification. Because essentially, if you're working with pull requests now, what's going to happen is the pull request feature will notice, well, there's a pull request and an associated branch. So it's going to build that branch, which means you probably don't want to build any branch here with a wildcard. Uh, and just go back to building maybe your main branch, a couple of other specific ones without wildcards, and let the pull request feature do the rest. Otherwise, you'll end up with duplicated branch builds, if that makes sense. Let's click Save, right? Go back to the overview page. And then on GitHub, for example, I just already, I created a new file, pull request.txt, with some content. And I'm going to scroll down and say, create a new branch for this commit and start a pull request. So let's propose a new file and let's create that pull request. Right, so that pull request has been created, number two. And now once I go back to my Team City server, I'm just gonna wait a second and see what happens. Welcome back. As you can see, Team City already detected the pull request and triggered a build. The build has already finished. And when you open up the build, you can even see in now a section called pull request details where you can see information about the pull request, essentially saying what is the target branch for the pull request, what is the source branch, right? And uh, by whom was it created? And when you click this link here, it even directly takes you into the GitHub pull request overview page. What will also make sense now is that Team City publishes the status of the build, it was successful building the pull request, to GitHub. And we're gonna cover that in another video about the commit status publisher build feature in Team City. That's about it. Bye.